So, to finish the day here is race 12. It's the Sefton Novices Hurdle. It's a great one event over three miles and a half a furlong. Number one, last town for Thomas Rogers. Two, occasion castle for Hems. Three is return of the Royal for Joshua Sutherland. Shafgan Thirsty for David Robinson is four. Tomenko Gift for Darren Thompson is five. Dishy for Thomas Rogers is six. Fauna Up People for Ryan Costello is seven. And Stormwitch and Sawbearer are eight and nine. Both the Leon Van Rensburg stables. There's Stormwitch. Winner of the Albert Bartler last week at Cheltenham. Takes on uh, Josh Sutherland's return of the Royal, which came second last week. So these two will do battle again. So we wait for him to settle down and approach the first of 13 hurdles. They will skip over it. They're being led by Dishy. Just with Saul Bear on his outside. Everybody taking a keen hold, though. He wants to really take this on. So it's Dishy that's just going to leave him past the grandstand. Reluctantly, from Lance Tal and Sword Bear. Shafgan Thursday up against the fence. And the grey out wide is occasionally cast on the inside of that is Return of the Royal. Just towards where is Tomanko Gift. And amongst those also is Stormwitch. As well as Formula Upheaval. As soon as they take the left hand turn from the stand. It's Dishy that's taken a three length advantage now from Last Town Shafgan. Thirsty on the inside in between those is Sword Bearer. On the outside in the white silks is Formula Upheaval. We've been followed through by Tomanko Gift and then we've got Storm Witch. Just towards the rear return of the Royal and occasionally Castle. Further through the first half mile and there's Dishy that happily leads us. About three still. Last Town Shafgan Thirsty. Sword Bearer between those. Tomenko Gift out wide is Formula Upheaval. And just Storm Witch. A lot of room. Being well held up as they get to the second. And they'll skip over that as they go away from us here. I'm just moving to the rear now as occasionally Castle the Great. Drop back a little bit. Looks like we're riding on board Sword Bearer as we approach the third hurdle. Takes it slowly. Back a little bit, and they're on Return of the Royal Wars. That went over the last slowly. They're going to get to the fourth now. See how Return of the Royal takes this. A bit of a better jump. It's riding on board Shafgan Thirsty now. Xavier Robertson. As you can see Formula Up people moved across and now on board Formula Up people. Back to the long range with two miles still to travel. It's Dishy from Formula Up people and Tomenko Gift. And Shafgan Thirsty and Last Tau. Sword Bear and Stormwitch together, followed through by Return of the Royal and occasionally Castle. So it's still Dishy that leads us from all Formula Up people. Tomenko, Gift, and Shafgan Thirsty. They are 1, 2, 3, 4. Not through by Stormwitch and Last Town Sword Bearer. Still at the rear, occasionally Castle and Return of the Royal. Entry Festival here. Race of the day. So we're getting ready for tomorrow. For the big one, the Grand National. We'll skip over the six here. We've still got a further seven flights to take. Still uh, over a mile and a half to travel. It's Dishy. Leads down just to a length now from Tomenko Gift. He's outside, just behind him is Formula Up People. Better jump there by Saul Burr. Jumps himself into fourth. Out wide now is last, last Tau from Green Silk. Something's fence Storm Witch. Track through by Return of the Roll. And the grey occasionally castle for Hems is just a couple of lengths detached at the moment. We go past the winning post. A more complete circuit. And this dish has been out there since the beginning. We lead them out again. It's Dishy. Tomenko Gift and Sword Bearer. On the inside is Storm Witch. And Wiley Shaft getting thirsty now. In between those is Return of the Royal. Occasionally Castle's got closer order now. Last Town has dropped himself into the last position as they take this left hander. So, with uh, just over a mile to travel, it's Dishy being joined by Sword Bearer now. They approach the next. We're going to go over it together, I imagine. Dishy and Sword Bearer. Pushing through well now to return of the Royal. So, Dishy and Sword Bearer. Together, a great big jump there by Saul Bearer. Jumped himself into a two-length advantage. Dishy didn't get over it particularly fast. So 
a little bit of a change up front with the sword bearer, Shafgen Thirsty. Dishy being driven along to take it up again. We go over the ninth, Dishy jumped that better. Sword bearer was a little bit slower, so change up front again. As we come down to six furlongs from home, it's Dishy and Shafgen Thirsty go over the tenth, so four from home. So it's Dishy, Shafgen Thirsty. Tomanko Gifts moved up. Occasionally Castle's in better position now. Sword bearer and Storm, which is a little bit to do, return of the roll. Just a little bit four wide, and the one towards the rear is last tail being pushed along now, trying to make up some ground. But it's Dishy that still leads us. As we come down to half a mile from home, it's Dishy from Shafgen Thirsty. Tomanko Gift return of the roll, and occasionally Castle on the inside. We go the length, better jump there by Shafgen Thirsty, but still Dishy. Storm which makes a move now as she comes out of the pack and throws down the challenge to Dishy. So we're inside the final half, and it is Storm Witch and Dishy. Storm Witch pulling away now by a length and a half, trying to run on as well as Shafgan Thirsty again. Tomenko Gift hasn't got a lot left. Return of the Roll's got a lot to do, but it's Storm Witch by a couple of lengths now as we watch Dishy go backwards. Saul Bearer running on. Shafgan Thirsty, Return of the Royal. Tomenko Gift's got nothing left. Occasionally Castle's not the win from there. As we go over the penultimate is Storm Witch. Now chased down by his stable mate Saul Bearer, but it's still Storm Witch that leads us by a length and a half from Saul Bearer. Dishy's Dishy still running on the inside. Return of the Roll trying to make up the ground. They're over the last, and it's Storm Witch that leads inside the final furlong. Storm Witch by a couple of lengths to Saul Bearer. Return of the Roll still trying to run on from Jack and Thirsty, but they're not going to catch this leader. It's going to be Storm Witch. It's going to take the Albert Bartlett last week. Going to follow up with the Sethman novices hurdle from his teammate Saul Bearer in second. Bit of a challenge towards the end there for Return of the Royal. Shaft again Thursday for third. I'll wait for the card to come up. But it is another win for Leon van Rensburg. First and second here with Stormwich and Sword Bearer. And Shafgan Thirsty just nosed in front of Return of the Roll to hang on to third. Return of the Roll was fourth for Joshua Sadler and the fifth was occasionally castled for Hems. And we'll see you tomorrow.